Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the demise of Her Royal Highness Sheikh Hala bin Tadaj Al Khalifa. The Saudi monarch extended deepest sympathies to His Majesty the King and the family of the deceased, praying to the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in peace. His Majesty also received a, sable, a similar cable from the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness. Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Saudi Crown Prince offered his sincere sympathies to His Majesty the King and the family of the deceased, praying to Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cables of condolences from His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, on the demise of Her Royal Highness Sheikh Hala bin Tadaj Al Khalifa. The Emir of Kuwait expressed his deepest sympathies to His Majesty the King and to the family of the deceased, wishing the soul of the late Sheikh Hala bin Tadaj Al Khalifa eternal peace. His Majesty received similar cables of condolences from His Highness the Crown. Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Subah, and His Highness the Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Jabir Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Subah. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, upon his arrival at the kingdom for a brotherly visit to offer condolences on the demise of the late Sheikh Hala bin Taj Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was also present at the reception. His Majesty the King welcomed the Jordanian monarch, affirming the deep-rooted Bahraini-Jordanian relations and the constant communication and joint coordination between the two countries in various levels. The Jordanian monarch expressed his country's pride in the brotherly ties and bilateral cooperation. His Majesty the King, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, received condolences from the Jordanian monarch at Rifa Palace. He also condoled senior royal family members and the deceased sons and brothers, praying to Allah Almighty to rest her in eternal peace and wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation to the Jordanian monarch for his kind and noble sentiments that embody the solid relations between the two countries, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince were at the forefront to bid the Jordanian monarch farewell upon his departure. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today a written letter from the Philippines President Rodrigo Duterte noting the solid bilateral relations and means of supporting and developing them in all fields. The letter was handed to His Majesty the King by Philippines President Special Envoy to the Gulf Cooperation Council Dr. Amabel R. Aguiliz V, who attended the greetings and appreciation of President to His Majesty the King, wishing the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the king welcomed the Philippines special envoy and asked him to extend his greetings to the president, wishing the people of the Philippines continuous progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King expressed his appreciation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from His Majesty Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman on the demise of Her Royal Highness Sheikh Hala bin Tadaj Al Khalifa. His Majesty the Sultan extended deepest sympathies to His Majesty the King and the bereaved family, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in peace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qudaybiyah Palace a number of royal family members and senior officials. His Royal Highness hailed the unity of the Bahraini community, adding that the kingdom depends on this value to overcome all challenges that may hinder the development of the country. During the meeting, His Royal Highness expressed appreciation of the Bahraini people's honorable stances 
throughout history. He praised the leading role of the people of Bahrain in contributing to the kingdom's development. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of communication and cooperation, which are essential to national unity. The Prime Minister affirmed that the kingdom welcomes all efforts aimed at contributing to the national development, adding that the government is keen on supporting all the segments of society by providing them with all services. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qudaybiyah Palace the American Newsweek magazine delegation who discussed with His Royal Highness the latest achievements of the kingdom as well as His Royal Highness's vision on the challenges that face the king region and the world. The Premier welcomed the delegation's visit to Bahrain, expressing his appreciation for the efforts of the magazine in portraying the issues of the regional in general and of the kingdom in particular. His Royal Highness noted the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and the U.S., hailing the continuous development of bilateral cooperation to achieve the common goals. He noted that Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is working on implementing a new strategy that focuses on diversifying the sources of income and building an economy that is able to compete on a global level. His Royal Highness asserted that Bahrain has a unique experience in human and sustainable development and continues to pursue more achievements. He discussed with the guests that the latest regional and international achievements, calling on the international community to face all challenges. His Royal Highness stated that settling international conflicts can only be achieved through dialogue and negotiations, which is key to achieving world peace and stability. His Royal Highness also commended the efforts of Saudi Arabia in maintaining the security and stability of the region and its pivotal role in supporting regional and international peace. For their part, the delegation members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, stating that his vision reflects his experience and wisdom. They also expressed admiration on the Bahraini community's awareness and openness, which reflects the cultural richness of the kingdom. They also expressed pleasure for visiting the kingdom and for witnessing its fast-paced development. The delegation added that it will issue a special file about the kingdom, which will be the first of its kind about the countries of the Middle East since the magazine's establishment 80 years ago. The file will include a documentation of the kingdom's development and growth in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud on the demise of Her Royal Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Tadaij Al Khalifa. May her soul rest in peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also received a similar cable from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Prime Supreme Commander of the U. UAE, armed forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, praying to Almighty God to rest the soul of the deceased in peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received condolences from members of the Royal Family, Chairman of the Council of Representatives and Chairman of the Shura Council, senior officials, diplomats, community leaders and citizens at Rifa'a Palace. Following the sad passing of Her Highness Sheikh Hala bin Tadaij Al Khalifa, also present were His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman 
Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Khalifa bin Idaij Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Salman bin Idaij Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his gratitude to all those who paid their respects and offered condolences. Her Highness Sheikh Ahala bin Idaij Al Khalifa was the former wife of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the mother of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its speaker Ahmad bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, where it approved a draft law ratifying the main system of the Gulf Cooperation Council's Judicial and Economic Authority, annexed to Decree 25 of 2018. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired today the 11th meeting of the National Commission for Drug Control in the presence of the Minister of Education, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Minister of Information Affairs, the Health Minister, the Capital Governor, Customs President, the Inspector General, and members of the Committee from Government Institutions. The Minister welcomed the members and hailed their efforts in contributing to drug risk reduction, expressing thanks and appreciation to the Anti-Narcotics Directorate, which plays a key role in controlling drug issues as part of national efforts to combat this threat. The committee reviewed the results of the visit to the National Rehabilitation Center in Abu Dhabi and identifying its goals and the educational and training programs it provides, as well as UAE's experience in establishing a medical center specialized in treating addictions and rehabilitating addicts. It also discussed its success indicators and achievement rates in cooperation partners of the national plan to combat narcotics and psychotropic substances. In this regard, the minister hailed the results of the plan, affirming the importance of media focus on the achievements that reflect success indicators, noting the important role of the General Directorate of Criminal Investigations and forensic evidence in uncovering drug cases. The committee discussed the report submitted by the Capital Governor on the TOGETHER program on combating violence and addiction implemented in public schools. The minister stressed the importance of spreading awareness among students and evaluating performance, plans and efforts. He also noted the importance of parents to observe their children for signs of addiction. The meeting also reviewed a study on establishing a treatment and rehabilitation center for addicts. The committee was briefed on the study conducted by the Ministry of Education on the danger of electronic drugs and its effect on the youth. The Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the committee members in the framework of combating the dangers of drugs and coordinating national efforts in this regard. Queen Rania al-Abdullah of Jordan, wife of His Majesty King Abdullah II bin al Hussein, arrived in Bahrain today and offered condolences to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa and to Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim al Khalifa, as well as to the members of the Royal Family on the demise of Her Highness 
Sheikh Hala bin Tadaj Al Khalifa, Queen Rania extended the deepest sympathies on the sad passing of the deceased, praying to Allah Almighty to rest her soul in peace. The Moon Sighting Committee will meet on Thursday, June 14th, corresponding to the 29th of Ramadan at the Supreme Islamic Affairs Council premises to receive reports of the Shawwal Moon that will confirm the advent of Eid al-Fitr. The Council issued a statement in which it urged the public to diligently observe the tentatively anticipated birth of the new crescent moon, the first of Shawwal 1439 Hijri, and to immediately report by calling the committee to confirm the advent of Eid al-Fitr. The Council extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Royal Family and the people of Bahrain, as well as all Muslims around the world.